this is kids right to know you get scared kids I want you to go on that YouTube and look for kids right to know peace keep doing it it takes time Make sure you look for wheat in your food products. Alright. You get scared during this at all. You stop it. Go check out that. Kids right to know peace. Whatever your age is, do it for that many minutes. You still don't feel right. Keep doing it. Alright, here we go. First thing you should know is all your soda, pancake you get from the store or restaurant. I hope you can breathe. Alright, we're going to look at this. This is your bars, your restaurants, your ice that you buy. Don't get mad at them. They don't know any better. The United States does not keep active records of how many people get sick from our water supply every year. There are estimates that from 500,000 to 7 million people get sick per year from drinking in tap water. One of the problems is that we have uh, lots of bugs in the system, viruses, pathogens, bacteria. A lot of those things that you think of as stomach viruses or flus, about 40% of those come from your drinking water. We are not removing things like industrial chemicals, rocket fuel, pesticides, certain pharmaceuticals, drugs that were discharged either by big animal factories or by sewage treatment plants. A lot of people think they don't have to worry about their water supply because they go out and buy bottled water. Well, we have news for them. In fact, a lot of your exposure to many of the chemicals comes from the simple act of showering in them. So some of these more volatile pollutants come in through your skin. Now that freaks you out. <clears throat> and they don't have a sticker of it anywhere. But it's called black walnut tincture. Just throw that in your soap. There are over 116,000... Or... A mixture of hydrogen peroxide and vinegar 50-50. Human-made chemicals. We have no idea how they interact. We are becoming experiments for these synthetic chemicals. And when the liver takes these chemicals out of our bodies, what happens? They get flushed down the toilet. And then they go into the aquifer. And then they go into our rivers and streams. We take the water from the rivers and streams. and we put it into our public water supply systems and we're drinking it again. Okay, why that thought is still fresh in our mind, not to mention cotton, cotton, BT toxin, cotton. You wash your clothes, right? You wash your clothes, lots of people do everywhere. Ring out a pair of jeans once. Ring it out. Ring it out every day and watch it bleed every time you do it over and over and over again our water is now gmo water it's bt toxin yeah i would get some different clothes one thread okay that did, that did, that did kind of sound kind of creepy like bible-ish but it does make sense to me though because that's food All you're wearing pharmaceuticals all those cosmetics, all the stuff that's in there, you know what? It's changing the chemistry in our bodies and it's hurting us. Anything in the air only About lasts nine days before it enters the hydrological water cycle. To India. There are two problems that it has created for water systems. The first problem is the crops are actually highly inefficient in water use. They need lots of water to dissolve the chemicals. And 
That means five to ten times more water is used to produce the same amount of food. Soixante dix pour cent de la consommation mondiale est d'origine agricole. Vingt pour cent d'origine industrielle. Dix pour cent les usagers domestiques. C'est les usages agricoles et industriels qui font que on a besoin de plus en plus d'eau pour faire pousser les choses qui ne devraient pas pousser à tel endroit. Et là, pour faire pousser tout ça, il faut aussi les engrais, les produits phytosanitaires de la chimie. Et évidemment, la chimie avec l'eau et dans les terres, ça fait pas bon ménage. Et aujourd'hui, y compris dans des analyses qui sont rendues non publiques, on s'aperçoit que par exemple l'eau de la Seine, mais on s'est rendu compte que dans les cinq dernières années, dans l'eau de Seine, ben, les poissons avaient changé de sexe. Il n'y avait que les femelles, et puis il n'y a plus de mâles. Le problème, c'est qu'on n'a pas de solution. Un vu qu'on a eu ces high levels de Prozac. Mon Dieu, malheureusement, la pollution est diffuse. Hein. So yeah, it's GMO water. We mustn't water. forget that these chemicals were designed for warfare. They are the ultimate weapons of mass destruction. Every one of them came out of the war system. Now they are in our drinking water. A little recap why that's still fresh in your mind. Tap water, GMO tap water, is used in all restaurants. All our food products, or a good majority of them, some do use purified water. But still, without testing it, it's all just words to me. But just so you kids understand, our government is allowing babies to grow in that. That, that don't make no sense. And then when some people tell you that distilled water robs your body, think of it this way. No factories, no cars. How would that water be from the rain? Let's continue. Okay, I know you like your toys, and I'm not telling you to give them up because we are electrical, chemical beings, and it's just like a drug. You're going to have to wean yourself off. All right, here you go. This is reason why um, you should have a right to run. <laughs> There's a background level. That's what it's over 2,000. Okay, that's horrible. Alright. Okay, what we're looking at here is Wi Fi. No growth. No growth. Hmm. Sell. Sell. What do you sell? All right. Anyways. Yeah. Barry Trower. He works for free. He is a microwave expert. We'll get to him later. Now this device, kids, it's only a few hundred bucks. And you could get one. And you could test your school, your house. You could even lend it out to other schools. Be a good thing. That's what I'm trying to do. But no donations yet. But let's just take a look at our uh, our little gadgets that we use. Electromagnetic fields from 15 appliances in your home. All right. Which one we got? You know, it goes over three. We're in the danger zone. And just the microwave up. oven is switched off here. It's plugged mm -hmm. in on the wall. It's giving us a reading of about 10 milligauss. Here I'm holding the tape measure to show that I'm 60 centimeters away from the microwave oven. You can see what happens when we switch the microwave oven on. The reading goes way past 100 milligauss. Microwave ovens like this one also give off dangerous levels of radio frequency radiation, just like your cell phone, which the trifield meter can all... The reason why I asked to get the meter is I like to see the correlation between Wi-Fi in schools and school shootings. This has an effect. Also measure. 
flat screens. Oh yeah, even monitors too. That tit to the flat screen. You can we'll see by the red light that it's on it's the TV on. The light goes green, and we get a reading of between four and five milligauss. We'll get to the Xbox or PlayStation Three. The Sony PlayStation, as you can see, when we plug it into the walls, giving us a reading of between three and six milligauss. But your child will be also receiving microwave radiation if they're using it in wireless mode. Just so you know, you can go look up uh, the science book on the brain. It's electrical chemical. Electrical first. Uh, neurons need electrical signals to carry out certain tasks. Huge amounts of tasks. Here the trifilm meter is measuring the magnetic radiation from a laptop computer. We're getting a reading of about 35 milligram, milligauss. If you're using it with a Wi-Fi router, then you can add into the mix the microwave radiation also. Oh yeah, the light bulbs. Oh yeah, this is why you feel all... Here the trifilm is showing us when you go into the a store. electrical radiation from a conventional light bulb. As you can see, None. it's well over 10 kilovolts per oh. meter. Oh, yeah, that one, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the good one. Yeah. Here, the tri-field is measuring the magnetic radiation from a CFL. You see we've got about 8 milligauss. But added to this yep. is microwave radiation, just like a cell phone, which an ordinary light. Now you can do your work on Nikola Tesla. I might be able to throw it in here, but he said if you can uh, use the frequency between 6 and 8 hertz, you could control the human behaviors of the planet or the biosphere. All right. I'll find it though. From Psy Up to Mind Warp, put out by Lieutenant Colonel Michael Aquino in the United States Army where he outlined plans and recommended that the government beam down from satellites magnetic radiation or electromagnetic waves to either excite or sedate a population in conjunction with the government's propaganda. And to make it worse, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Aquino, author of this paper, is also an infamous Satanist. Who has been a And we'll just stop right there. That's just a word. Don't freak out. Whoopie doo. Alright. So what they were talking about, I'm gonna show you. <coughs> okay, he was all talking about all that without a uh, freaky tone or whatever, but alright. So he's talking about stimulation of the brain. John C. Lilly. Real stuff. Go get a oscilloscope, test it. See if I can zoom in here so you can see what the waveform is. You should be able to pause that and see the downward is 28, upward 34, 2% at the peak rectangle. And you can the goal is to find an electric current waveform which could animals could be stimulated through implant electrodes for several hours per day. And this can be achieved by going back to that film, Kids Right to Know Peace. When you feel like you're being moved, go back to meditation. All right, we're going to carry on. Yeah, okay, we'll get the thing on the brain scan thing. I'm looking for it, but right now I'm going to give you the thing on TV. And you can watch this with, if you got younger brothers and sisters watching TV, you can watch their lower jaw drop. That They're in a trance state. Check it out. I read on the television. It's very, very important. It was times 
to be so many cycles per second, and, and it actually just meets with the brain patterns from alpha state. Uh, when our brain sees it through our eyes, we should be start to adopt that flicker rate in our, in our mind, and we go into a deep alpha state. Watch children and watch their mouths. They, they drop open. Uh, they won't hear their parents talking. Uh, they're, they're hypnotized, in fact. Uh, why would they give that particular flicker rate when they could have chosen of a, a, a whole variety of flicker rates? It wasn't an essential thing to have. So it was done for a purpose. It was meant to be hypnotic. It was meant to be used as a tool of propaganda and indoctrination, uh, even through the guise of entertainment and so on. And then this is on your tap water. You put current through it, and it will turn green. And it just gets greener by the moment. That distilled water. No change. Didn't change at all. Why the regular tap water? has become, has turned into a green, green and brown. Okay, gotta throw this in there on your food. Yeah, that's open roll, but... <laughs> no, I'm not married anymore, Roland. <laughs> um, I can call my lawyer, I haven't talked to him in a very, very long time. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> We have a lot of stuff between us, literally. Oh, well, you just got the response. You don't need to call him. You don't need to call him. Now, obviously, I'm not connected to the yogurt. Obviously not. So, but I'm connected to the yogurt. How? That's something we don't know. How? But based on these and many other types of experiments, um, is that with human emotionality does create a very male energetic field that radiates out from us. And that... Uh, other living systems are attuned to those energetic fields. Okay, let's add the things that we can see. We're ungrounded. We have a thing called the lily wave. And we have microwaves all around us. That's all variables not taken into consideration. So, we got to carry on because there's still some missing parts here. grazing on non-BT cotton plants for years. In one case, 13 buffalo grazed on BT cotton plants for a single day, and within three days they were all dead. Unfortunately, there is not sufficient follow-up. One small non-governmental organization pleaded with the government in India, please do some research on these animals. The government refused. They pleaded with universities offering to pay for the research themselves. They refused. So this small NGO did their own research. They put three sheep in one field with BT cotton Bolgard 1, three with Bolgard 2, and three with non-GM cotton. Within a month, all six sheep eating the BT cotton plants died. But three eating the non-BT cotton plants had no symptoms. But their research was dismissed because it wasn't a government agency or a university. So we have a situation where the evidence is there but it's not being paid attention to because it's being drowned out by the big bucks and the biotech industry with their tobacco type science and their distortion of denial of the facts. So I think I'm going to wrap this up. Um, this guy named is Roger Weaver. He did a bunker test. This should open your eyes immediately. Yeah, I almost did poke myself in the eye. Actually, I kind of did hit it doesn't hurt though. No, I didn't hit it. But no, really. No, I'm trying to keep this playful because I don't know who's all watching this, but this is, this is huge. We have a pineal gland. All this stuff is all around us constantly, floating around us 24-7. When you play with this frequency, and look what he did. He did this with healthy kids. This guy did it. Look at what he did. We could easily do this. We could redo this. Anybody got cancer? Dogs do this. Dogs do this. I want to see if wolves do it too, but they will dig a hole if they don't feel well to get closer to the ground. 
I don't know. Dog didn't talk to me at all, but this sure did. Yeah. This should be the an The circadian island. rhythm is the day-night cycle that is engraved into all life. Over a 30-year period, the professor conducted experiments in which student volunteers would spend several weeks at a time living in the bunker, completely shielded from the natural resonances of the earth. In his results, Weaver noted some astonishing findings. He discovered that when Schumann residence was filtered out of the bunker, the student's physical and mental health would suffer. Wi-Fi in school. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't uh, school shootings. With, with mm. He took young students down there because he knew. Uh, we even knew that that there would be an effect. So obviously, underground, you don't have Schumann resonance. You only have the transverse magnetic field from from in the Earth. So by putting putting them underground, they started having feeling sick having headaches, their circadian rhythm was completely upset. The interesting thing was, when he just introduced the 7.8 hertz frequency with a magnetic pulse generator, they became, they, they, that immediately stopped. Weaver would secretly introduce the 7.83 frequency to the bunker by a man-made transmitter. Each time he did so, he noted the ill effects suffered by the volunteers either disappeared or decreased. Their stress, headaches and emotional distress was reduced and their sense of well-being was restored. All by the introduction of Schumann Resonance. School shootings, Wi-Fi, wheat? Hmm. Yeah. Remember now, kids break to no peace, you get scared. Do exactly on how it says, just the breath. 